Since the James Webb Telescope began its work, an intriguing question has emerged. Might we have missed a fundamental truth about our universe? For a long time, theories like the Big Bang and other bedrocks of physics have shaped our understanding of the universe. But recent discoveries are challenging these theories. Has the turning point now come when we must completely change our view of the cosmos and our own existence? Or are the confusing data just observational errors? Together, we go now on a journey to the beginning of the cosmos and to the possibly largest errors of natural science. Galaxies at the beginning of time? In July 2023, NASA published a brand new image of ancient galaxies. When scientists first determined the age of these primordial galaxies, they thought it was simply impossible. If their calculations are correct, these galaxies are so old that they should not even exist at the edge of the universe. The first plausible explanation that emerged was that it was entirely possible for closer galaxies to appear as very distant galaxies. Scientists around the world tested the results and all came to the same conclusion. These galaxies are real and no anomaly is present. Astronomers are now convinced that the light from these galaxies has traveled to Earth for over 13.4 billion years. Thus, these galaxies were already present when the universe was less than 350 million years old, and this is what has become a scientific problem. In addition to their age, these galaxies are extremely massive, highly structured, and so full of stars that their luminosity exceeds that of today's galaxies. The big problem is that, during this epoch of the universe, according to previous calculations, only first prototypes of galaxies should have existed. Scientists have imagined it approximately in such a way that at the time between 200 or 400 million years after the Big Bang, the first stars came together to what later galaxies developed from. So, they expected to find galaxies on the new pictures of the James Webb Telescope, which are either small, chaotic, or dark, or that deliver in other ways conclusions on an early development state. But what happened now is like someone showing you photos from a time when a certain person was still a baby, and then you realize from the pictures of that time that this person was already an adult. You would be shocked and think something is wrong. You would probably turn the pictures around and look at the date, or in the case of digital photographs, you would meticulously check the date the picture was taken. If you then discovered that everything was correct, you would be standing there with a big question mark on your face. This is exactly what is happening to astronomers in this world. Something is no longer right with the astronomical and cosmological worldview, and the researchers do not yet know what it is. The examination has begun. Now, you probably already understand better that it's crucial to prove that these galaxies indeed show the early universe and that the images and age determinations are real. If they are, it would be a miracle or simply a miscalculation by physicists who have put forward old theories such as those of the Big Bang or even the expansion of the universe. First of all, this discovery confirms the investment of time and money put into James Webb. If we believe for a century in a theory that is wrong, now it's time to clean it up and find out the truth. First, researchers checked all the values of redshift. Astronomers use this quantity to measure extremely long distances in the cosmos. Light that has traveled for billions of years has stretched its wavelength due to the expansion of the universe. The longer the light travels, the more it shifts towards the red end of the electromagnetic spectrum. This stretching of light is called redshift. The larger the redshift value, the farther away the objects that emitted the light are, and the older these objects are. So, simply put, this means that redshift is a measure of distance in the cosmos and that early galaxies have high redshifts. The world's best stationary telescopes were linked together in a unique project. They looked together once again in the direction of the impossible galaxies and concluded that James Webb had seen everything correctly. Redshifts of 16 to 20 Z could be confirmed and thus the six galaxies are really as old as scientists had first claimed. Now, the foundation of our cosmology wobbles and nobody knows at the moment quite what this will mean. We'll just have to wait and see. The presence of these galaxies will most likely lead people to develop another telescope in the near future that can look even further back in time than James Webb. But it may also be that Webb himself will shed further light. 
The telescope has been in operation for just one year now, and its capabilities may not even be exhausted yet. Even Hubble, when it was long considered obsolete, achieved one or two miracles in the cosmos, such as the discovery of Eurendel, the oldest single star ever sighted. The end for the Big Bang? The Big Bang is supposed to have been the starting point of the universe 13.8 billion years ago. Using known quantities from physics and astronomy, researchers have reconstructed how the young universe evolved from this initial event. The latest discoveries now break with these ideas. Of course, things in the cosmos don't have to be right just because they could be calculated. Mathematics and astrophysics are still far from being able to describe all phenomena. For example, Einstein was not able to mathematically reconstruct the existence of the entire cosmos. Nevertheless, many of his computational predictions were consistent. For example, he knew of the existence of black holes only from mathematics and physics, long before they were actually discovered. The theory of the Big Bang was 100% consistent with the rather incontrovertible physical values from Einstein's theories of relativity. But we still know too little about the universe to be able to say with certainty that there are not more quantities and previously unknown phenomena. What's particularly exciting in this area are aspects of dark matter, which have hardly been explored to date, and quantities from quantum mechanics. The events are seen from some researchers as a chance. Others, however, are confused and hardly want to depart from old convictions. They were too sure they were close to completing the puzzle, but now these six galaxies are tearing a hole in the previous picture. There is more to come. The waves around the six impossible galaxies had barely calmed when a Twitter message of NASA shook once again the conservative branches of natural science. A galaxy cluster with seven galaxies was found, which had a redshift of 7.9. Thus, the cluster existed only 650 million years after the Big Bang. For all the scientists who hoped until then that the new realizations could be due perhaps to a mistake, well, this was again a shock. Do you remember the photo which shows an adult at a time when we should have been a baby? Now a galaxy cluster with a redshift of 7.9 would mean that you see a wedding photo of the human being, which you had actually thought was unmarried. All that you see would confuse and confound you even more. You would no longer trust your perception and the world. Clusters of galaxies are collections of single galaxies. The fact that such formations have already existed 650 million years after the Big Bang proves once more that the cosmos had already matured in its alleged infantile days. What does this mean now for our worldview and cosmology? First of all, we must realize that the theory of the Big Bang was never proven, even if many thought otherwise. The theory worked out mathematically, but also left questions open. So, it could never say for sure why our universe has originated, what was there before, whether the universe is finite or infinite, or what ever triggered the starting point. Basically, the theory of the Big Bang even violates another very important law of physics. The second law of thermodynamics says that in a closed system, disorder tends to increase. If the universe arose from an initially highly ordered state, as the Big Bang suggests, this would seem to contradict this law since it would require an evolution toward greater disorder. If the Big Bang theory proves to be wrong, this would by no means have to mean that all physical quantities with which we are familiar were a mistake. Newton's law of gravity was not wrong when Einstein came up with the equations of general and special relativity. Einstein's work only extended Newton's findings and placed them in a broader cosmic framework. Newton still assumed that objects like stars or planets were stuck in some kind of confined space and rotated on fixed positions. Even when Einstein was a young man, the determinant worldview was still common. Stars and planets were assumed to sit on fixed positions in a rigid universe. Then it became clear that the cosmos is not only infinitely vast, but also almost infinitely dynamic. Everything is constantly in motion. Planets orbit around their stars, stars move with their planets around the center of their galaxies, and galaxies travel at several thousand kilometers per second through a space, or entity, about which we know very little. Who comprehends that a little more than 100 years ago, determinism still played a decisive role in the cosmological worldview? 
will understand also why researchers were almost sure at this time that there must be a beginning and with it probably also an end. So they calculated everything back to a beginning and the idea of the Big Bang was born. Either this beginning has never existed and we must make friends slowly with a temporal infinity of the universe, or it lies much further back in time than we assumed so far. New worldviews will come. Nobody knows at the present time when we will learn how our universe really was created or what there was at the time 13.5 billion years ago or more. Perhaps we really will have to wait until a new telescope is built that can capture light that has been traveling to us for 14 billion years or longer. Or James Webb soon reveals more discoveries that provide a new clue. So the cosmic whodunit remains exciting and we'll keep the ball rolling for you. To close this video, tell us what you think about cosmology. Do you find a beginning and an end somehow reassuring? Or do you prefer the idea of an infinity with an infinite number of possibilities?